Hey, hey, hey. What is up, you guys? How's it going? How's it going? Happy Sunday. Hope you guys had a fantastic week. Uh, we just got back last night from uh, the Success Summit run by Fraser and Vincenzo. Uh, two guys put together a great event. Uh, if you're watching this, guys, what up for you? Uh, really, really good um, training. Uh, we definitely enjoyed it. Picked up loads of tips. Already started putting them in practice and getting some nice, nice, nice results. All right, guys. So I can see some people are joining in. So please say hi in the comments. Hi, Irina. Uh, and if you're watching a replay of this, uh, it'd be really, really helpful if you stick a replay into the comments. So I know that you watched a replay, not a live one. Uh, hey, Amina. How's it going? How's it going? So guys, welcome along. Hope you guys are having a really, really good uh, Sunday. Hey, Alice, how you doing? Uh, so good to see all of you here. And uh, today I wanted to talk about how to earn more, right? Because most people uh, would like to earn more, not less, right? So uh, what I wanted to do is give you uh, some ideas maybe and some tips on how you could earn money doesn't really matter what you do. So whether you're in business, whether whatever job you do, etc. Right. So um, what uh, is it all about? You know, how does it work and, and why? You know, how, how could you earn more money? So um, it really uh, because we help uh, me and Rita, we help people to earn um, extra income working from home. Uh, we come across a lot of people who, uh, you know, they're interested in earning extra income from home. So they join, uh, you know, uh, the team and then they look at the business uh, opportunity and they see uh, the leadership positions. They see what people who have reached high levels uh, are earning. And of course, they get seduced by the idea of making big money, right? By making double what they're making right now per month or triple or quadruple or whatever, right? So, you know, people get their, you know, their appetite is growing very, very fast, right? But the mistake most people make is when they look at that uh, large income, they want to make that type of income without changing anything, without learning anything, without going to seminars, without reading books, without, uh, you know, uh, developing themselves as a, as a person, etc. And of course, it is very difficult to do that it, that way. And you know, for, 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 for it to work and for, for you to understand this, um, think about it this way. Think about the fact that most people uh, go to university for three, four, five, six years, etc. in order to earn uh, 20,000 labas, um, uh, in order to earn 20,000 pounds a year, 30,000 pounds a year, uh, 40,000 pounds, etc. right? And these people have gone to university for years and years, studied their craft in order to get a job that pays that type of income, right? And it's absolutely okay. And people understand that and they accept that. No problem. But then people join, uh, let's say, a home-based business and they, they, want, they see the income where they can make 5000 a month or 10000 a month or 15000 a month and they want to start making that type of income without ever going to any seminars, without ever reading any books, without ever learning about the business or the products, etc. How is that even possible? If somebody had to go to university for four years or three years to make 20,000 a year, how could somebody expect to make 20,000 a month without ever learning anything, without ever investing in themselves, without ever growing themselves as a person? Is this making sense to you? I mean, does that, uh, you know, does that make your brain work a little bit uh, when I say that? If, 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 if it does make sense, type yes in comments, right? Uh, thanks, Amina. Amina saying true, right? But this is how a lot of people think. This is how a lot of people, they're surprised almost when, you know, they join a, a, a business, for example, they join our team. And they, they see this big income, they want to earn that income because obviously that could change their life, that could allow them to go on holidays, that could allow them to buy a brand new car, that could allow them to, uh, you know, uh, have a nice home, etc. But they are surprised almost that, oh, so I'm going to have to go to trainings now? And I'm going to have to uh, read books now and invest in myself as a person now in order to make that type of income? 
Well, of course, <laughs> you know, how else could it work? You know, how else could you become a, a, a master in this field? How else could you become a great business person? How else could you become a great recruiter or a great salesperson or a, a great leader? Only by learning and by investing in yourself, etc. right? And things are progressing. Even, you know, some people go, well, I've been to training once. I've been to presentation once. Why should I go there again? Well, things are developing. Yesterday, uh, we went to this training success summit, right? And look, I've been in business now for eight years, right? And that's not a very long time. You know, some people been double or triple that amount, right? But it's a while, right? And still, every time I go somewhere, every training I attend, I learn something new. Last night, yesterday, I've learned loads of new stuff that I'm actually putting in practice right now, and it's giving me results. I'm getting brand new results, better results, etc. Right? So we can always learn something new, and we can always advance, right? But let's not talk about the business for a while. Let's say you have a job, right? Let's say uh, you're a cleaner. Let's say you're a secretary. Let's say you work in a call center, and you're a, or maybe you're a customer service representative, right? And maybe you're not earning enough. Maybe you're not earning the amount of money that you would like to earn, right? Maybe you'd like to progress, but you're not progressing in your job. Think about it. What if you, let's say you're a cleaner, and let's say you started reading books about how to be a really good cleaner, or you started attending you know, workshops on how to become a better cleaner. Or maybe you're a customer sales representative. Maybe you're working in a call center. And what if you started every month reading one book on how to become a better customer sales representative or how to serve customers better? Or maybe you're a supervisor or you're a manager at your job, right? And maybe you started learning on how to become a better leader, how to become a better manager, how to manage people better, etc. Do you think that would impact your income? Do you think that would improve the chance of you getting promoted in your job or you getting more responsibility or you getting a better position? Of course it would. But most people are not like that. They go, when my job starts paying me more or when my boss starts paying me more, maybe then I'll spend a little bit more time learning or maybe then I'll try and do a better job at this work. Ain't going to work that way. It's same like saying, uh, stove, give me some heat and then I'll put some wood in. Or praying to God saying, God, please give me a great harvest this year and next year I will plant some seeds. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, does it? Right? You have to plant the seed before you get the harvest. You have to put the wood in the stove first before you get the fire, right? Before you get the heat. Well, same way in your profession or in your business. You have to invest in yourself first before you get paid more, before you get a better position before you progress to the next level, right? You invest in yourself first and then those changes start happening, right? That's the way it works. So for me, of course, I'm the most passionate about home-based business because we're always trying to help other people to make more money working from home, right? But when I see people join our business opportunity, and not go to trainings, and not listen to the webinars, and don't read books, and don't invest in themselves, and don't personally develop themselves, and then they don't make any money, because obviously they don't know what they're doing, and then they turn around and they say, the business doesn't work, or the product doesn't sell, or people don't join this business. It's completely wrong, because that's not true. <laughs> because other people are selling products, because other people are getting team members to join the business, because other people progressing within the pay plan and earning more and more and more every single month, right? How can two people work in the same business and one person get paid 15,000 a month and another person earn 50 pounds a month? How can, is that possible? The difference is within those people, right? Because the people are different. The business is the same and the product is the same and everything else is the same for both of them. The difference is how they approach the business. Do you approach the business as a profession or do they approach it as a hobby, right? Because if you do something as a hobby, then you're gonna have a hobby income. If you treat it as a profession and you become a student of it, then guess what? Your income starts changing. Is that making sense to you guys? Does that make any sense to you guys? If it does make sense, do uh, say yes, uh, be, you know, in the comments or put a thumbs up in the comments or 
uh, do something that I know that this is actually making sense to you guys. Awesome, awesome. So hope you got value from this. Uh, if you did get value from this, as always, feel free to share. Uh, you know, get, let other people see the same information. Maybe they will get some value from it too. Uh, thanks very much. Have a great rest of your Sunday, guys. And as always, I'll see you at the top.